Boy, do I have a great episode for y'all. This is about to be the most nostalgic episode that we have of this show, okay? And, you know, it's crazy because we were getting ready to film, and I really didn't think about it until just a few minutes ago how crazy and inspirational this is about to be. So you guys are going to want to stay to the end of this interview with Kosi Pari. Hey, hey guys. Yes, this is my girl. So let's let's peel back (laughs) the layers for these folks. Okay. Um yes. So I met this beautiful lady here. Thank you. At my very first job ever. (laughs) My first nine to five. All right. Sixteen years old. Okay. Struggle. Struggle, but struggle. It's crazy because now that we're here, yeah. think about how many 16-year-olds were like, I'm going to get up and go get me a job. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And be stern about it. You yeah. know what I mean? So we had our first job. Can we say what we worked at? You wanna, do you mind? I don't mind. You know why? Because I don't mind. Ew, we worked like at Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, we got dressed up as the mouse. It, yes, yeah, we did. It, it was a part of the job. Being... <laughs> on the side of the road, waiting for a ride, and everyone just driving past us in a big snowstorm. And we miserable. And we were just, you, you know, know, just giving paying, each other paying support. Paying for the bus with tokens, you know? <laughs> Listen, it was a long cheese, time ago, Chuck E. Cheese tokens. Chuck E. Cheese tokens, and they didn't care. <laughs> but so crazy. So we worked there. We were there for a while, and mm-hmm. then we, we just started working and working and working, mm-hmm. and... We eventually, later on in life, ended up Cross being pass. on the same team again, making music, going to events, and things like that. So I just want to commend our consistency right. Look, yeah. and just the That's the growth. Yeah. It's so good to see you, and I'm. You like to see me grow. I do. All I right. do. I All like, right. So I, it's is, a mutual thing. Yeah, this is where you flourish. You yeah. yeah like so I'm so it. happy. I like to see And it. you look gorgeous. Like, we, glue, we grew up. <laughs> we, we did. We was, you know, back in the day, I don't know what was going Back in the day. Back in the day. But I'm so proud of you that you were Thank able you. to also find new lanes that you're excelling at. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? A lot of people, they know what they're good at, but to try something new is very, scary. very scary. scary. So scary. I commend you for that. So let's get into it. So you're an amazing artist. Thank you. Um, I'm a big, big <laughs> fan. So I really want to know, when did your music journey start? Oh, man. Um, so my dad is a producer. A lot of people don't know this. He actually was a producer back in the 90s. But um so just watching him, observing him for years, just beat making, he te- he got me into a lot of the things that I'm doing now, mm-hmm. like Photoshop, editing, music, obviously being in the environment with a bunch of rappers and singers just coming in and out, right. recording with him. Um, that influenced me tremendously. So I would say I've always had a musical background, okay. but I didn't start, it didn't start, uh, my, I didn't start my journey with music until about, like, 11, 12, and I'm just sitting in my room, no boyfriend, no love life, just writing love songs. And like, <laughs> Yo, the you know, bomb. That's when the best <laughs> shit came out. And it didn't get serious. Like, I didn't start taking my craft seriously, vocal vocal lessons, and doing all those things until 2018. 2000, well, 16 to 18 when okay. I was in Wagner. A uh, little bit before that, uh, I graduated in 2016, but, like, okay. they had a media program, and downstairs there was a... A mic, like a basic mic, Logic. We I learned how to use the software. I was just very self-taught. I didn't know about at the time. I I was like, what? What? What was I? How old are you in high school? I I well, I'm I'm a December baby, so I was always like younger than everybody. Yeah, I was I was young, but I didn't know about like YouTube. Like at the time, I wasn't invested in YouTube and learning things and classes and you know. So I was just really self-taught, just going off of what I learned in the past, and I think around like 2015 14 and uh and um my like sophomore sophomore going into senior year I mm-hmm. started to really take music seriously yeah. just getting the feedback from people and like oh wow this is actually something good like I, yeah. I, I, I always knew I had talent but it was just a, a matter of sometimes you need that confidence from uh, that reassurance mm-hmm. from others where it's like yeah, you you have a talent. This this actually sounds good. We've exactly. never heard anything like this before. Like you should actually try to 
uh, enhance those skills and work on work on your craft a little bit more. So it started like there, and then from there, I just 2018, I dropped things unexplained, <sighs> and uh, it just went. Went up and up and up from there. Yo, every time she comes to my event, I be like, <laughs> thanks, <guys." laughs> This is for you, girl. I was so over the moon, like, impressed with that project. Thank you. Like, every project since then has been better, Thank too. You. But I just... For you to put that out, what did it feel like? The day you put it out and you were like, all right, Ooh. that's it. I'm pressing it. It's done. It's out there. It was, what did that it feel was, like? The whole, pro- the whole process was a breakup. Like the whole the whole project was built off of pain. It was okay. created out of pain. Just pure teenage love, heartbreak. And I was just going through it. And um, I was very secretive at the time. So my parents didn't really know I had a boyfriend. And like certain people knew. But like it was just like a lot for me. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> that was the first time I actually became vulnerable in my music and I really allowed myself to kind of just express myself and what I feel but when I I knew it was something special because I started I knew it was something special when I finished recording it and I recorded the entire project in like a month I would just record and I was like yeah I found a studio now so I found me a little engineer and Mm -hmm. stuff this is like my first time outside of high school going to an actual studio and I started to record and like hear my voice on it I was like whoa whoa this is good and I it was me like (laughs) having that realization with myself and it was a growth a growth moment for me well like um, I don't know if you were at the listening party. I was. You was at the listening party. I was at the, <laughs> the listening party. Okay, support. <laughs> period. That's yes. when I knew it was something special. When I'm like, oh my I'm god, making a listening party. I'm doing like a track list. I'm it was. Doing, I but, was so inspired. Like at that time when you did the listening party, I was like, all right, I gotta get my <laughs> shit together. I gotta get it together. And I think that's the beautiful thing about our friendship yeah. and just truly being inspired by other people, right? Instead of going to that event and saying, damn, well, well, well why don't I do this? Why don't yeah. I said, all right, boom, my friend is killing it and I want to be up there with her. Like, yeah. this is a beautiful thing. So to see, you did it so Thank professionally. You. That I'm was still a great learning. time. I'm still growing. Like, I'm still becoming. I'm still uh, doing research. It's so much I learned about vocalization. Yeah. So much I learned about recording techniques so much I learned about the I'm learning about engineering and the technicalities uh then I'm learning also the business side of music which is right you know because I'm not I don't want to be an artist forever eventually I plan to expand I want to own studios I want to be an A&R for other artists right. I want it's so much different things I want to do I want to get into acting I want to get into this so but music is definitely like the 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 base like my ground my common ground where I always find myself coming back yeah and, um, yeah, I've been definitely flourishing in everything. Like, as a woman, music helps me understand myself. Just mm, feel, just being that's deep. most vulnerable. Like, when I'm alone recording and I say some things, I write some things, I, don't, I didn't even know I felt yeah. or believed or thought about myself. Uh, I learned about, like, oh, you're insecure in this area. I thought I was confident. Right, here, but right. But music exposes those things. Like, when you really have that one-on-one honest moment with yourself. But, yeah. That's beautiful. I'm like having chills right now because I hear it. Y'all like there's certain songs like she'll like she'll drop off and then it's like a hard comeback. And I'm like, like, it's so moving. Like I I can definitely say like I've definitely put on a definite few songs to get through some shit. And I think that's what makes someone a artist Mm -hmm. and a creator you know what i'm saying like there's a very thin line but there's definitely a difference Mm -hmm. and you just radiate it like look at the look let's talk about the evolution of look okay like starting from i don't know god knows but you're starting to find like i can see it so how are you managing through all of these different trends Uh you know like we were just talking about it earlier just like the music on the radio and just the mainstream stuff so how are you sticking to your sound and not being bombarded by all of the things that are out there it's definitely hard it's yeah. definitely difficult especially as a woman i feel like uh yeah. not to be sexist but i feel like men have it a little easier especially in the industry yeah. where even even as a like vocalization it's just everything is a little bit uh, designed Different. to be a little bit easier for a man to catch on to and, and as a woman in the industry you really have to make your mark 
and it's harder and it takes it takes 10 times more dedication yeah then they want it's not just about music then you, you want to look it. they the want part. the image mm-hmm. they want and, and it's hard to not compare but as a human like because i'm spir- very spiritual so i believe who i am is who i'm who i'm destined to be right. and i and it took and it took me a while and i'm still learning i have my moments where i'm like oh man I could have wore that or, oh, this is like the trend. But I really tr- try to commit to originality. Yeah. Like, it's hard. As hard as it is, the world will compare you. Like, I can, I'm, and I'm prepared. I feel like I'm prepared enough to know, okay, they're going to say, oh, she sounds like her. Or she sounds like this person. Right. Or she sounds like this person. Oh, wow, she should do. Like, I've had that moment where even some of my closest friends are, like, telling me, oh, no, you just need to do this or, like, make your music sound like this. Right. So, what me for my tech my thing I'm doing now like it's like I just shut everything down, I shut everything down. Every artist has to have that moment, that honest moment where okay you're you're confident enough in yourself to where you know like you're not you know being arrogant, but you right. know no one in the room can tell me you're not talented. You're worth. You're worthless. Yeah. Like I'm solidified, and I'm you know through God really. God, the power of God and just being, staying spiritual and staying in my spirituality, my faith and growing there too, as, cause you have to have some sort of balance Yeah, just as a human or you'll, you'll literally go insane. I feel like you'll literally go insane. Just listening. There's so much to, to listen hear to. in the world. You'll hear, oh, you're, you're not, you're worth, you're not worthy. You're not this, you're not pretty. You're not smart. You're yeah. not. And then you want to, as a woman, you want to be every woman you could possibly be. Exactly. You want to be smart. You want to be sexy. You want to be cute. You want to be fashionable. You want to sound good as a singer. You want to have the best vocals. You want to have the best this, the best that, the best that. And it's just like, we're human. You know, I don't, I try not to f- focus on perfection. And I just try to focus on making things permanent and Absolutely. perfecting every skill in a way where it's like, okay, I got this under my belt. I'm learning this. Like I'm engineering this, you know, you want to be knowledgeable about the things that everything, say you're a musician, right? Mm-hmm. You want to ha- have knowledge of the things that are a part of your career. Like Absolutely. if you're a singer, you want to know about engineering. You have to know about these things. You have to know about the business side. You have to know right. about, because, you know, it's like a All game. All that goes into play. Someone could come in and just lie to you and you will be confused. You would just be like, oh, wow. This conversation is too juicy. So I'm going to need y'all to come on back. We have another part to this interview. Make sure you check it out. Kosi Pari. Find her on all streaming platforms. Come back for part two of this interview. Thank you.